So over the last 10 years, I've used and tested many apps to help me manage different aspects of interior design. Some have been incredibly useful, while others, not so much. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mia and I work as an interior designer based in London. And on this video, I wanted to share five apps that have truly stuck with me and that I use day to day to stay productive and helps me save time. And these apps that I'm going to share with you today are incredible AI tools that helps me from concept development to like mood boards and managing my resource and material library. So if this is something that you're interested, keep on watching and let's get started. So the first one is ChatGPT. I'm sure a lot of you already use it in your routine, but let's actually go through different ways you can use this AI tool to the fullest as an interior designer. So one way I love to use ChatGPT for is to use as my brainstorming platform. So when you're feeling stuck or uninspired, just describe your project and ChatGPT will help you like come up with the style, color palette, materiality. I also use it heavily for my concept development because sometimes you know you have to describe your concept in your portfolio and you need like a chunk of a paragraph. I just type in what my like keywords for this concept, what I'm thinking, and ChatGPT will like come up with like really, really competitive like storytelling concepts that you can literally little bit edit and then put in your portfolio. I also use it to like summarize a brief that I receive from clients when it's like pages and pages and I need to read it and I kind of have to like summarize the brief and the requirements. I just put them in ChatGPT and it will list all the requirements of the project. It's so helpful. I also use it for like storyboards of my portfolio, like when I don't know how to structure the storytelling and like what I need to put in the portfolio, like there's too many things. It's really helpful to kind of structure how the portfolio should be and the content content narrative. It's obviously a game changer for like any kind of research you want to do. So like for example, I've used it for researching uh, local materials or like the suppliers or like the furniture dealer in a specific country because I'm based in UK so like my knowledge is maybe limited to what is available in UK. But if I'm working on like an international project, I can literally like ask ChatGPT like who I need to like contact for this furniture or like materials that is local to like country it's very helpful and lastly you can also drop an image to ChatGPT, and it will literally like help you find that product in the image I've done this before and sometimes it doesn't give you like a specific product which is a bit annoying but it gives you like five different options that is quite similar to the style that you're looking for and you can again like it might be the product that is not available in UK like it's from like I don't know in Asia and you're looking for very similar products that's available in Europe so so I highly recommend trying out this tool. So Mirrorboard is another tool that I use it for like everyday workflow. It has become such an essential tool for me. Think of it as like an endless canvas. You can literally put anything that you want, draw, sketch, put your ideas. Like it's very good canvas that you can see everything at the same time. I mainly use this board to keep all my information about the project from the brief to requirements, like important information that I need to go back to all the time, like the size of the areas, for example, I use it for like storyboarding for the portfolio, mood boards, concept, and basically like I organize all the information in here. What I love about Miro is that you can also collaborate with people. You can invite your team or colleagues into your board. So you can literally share ideas in that moment and you can also work together in the board as well. So it really helps to work on a project together. Miro board also has an AI tool. I've actually never used this feature before, but for example, you can type to create a mind map of like Scandinavian minimalism, let's say, and you want to brainstorm like a concept or keywords, Miro AI will literally suggest all these ideas of like materials, colors, styles, all the keywords that relates it to your main ideas. And it literally works like your chat CPT, but visually, and you can see it so clearly. And what I love the most is that all these features are completely free, so there's no risk of losing money. So I highly recommend checking out these features yourself.
So Med Journey has become one of my favorite tools for generating like creative inspiration. I use it to like visualize design concepts before getting into details. And it's an incredible tool for like developing unique ideas. Right now, Mid Journey is like best used as a concept and inspiration tool. You can create like stunning interior design images, exploring different architectural styles, and even like generate high quality mood boards. If you have yearly membership, there is also an option to upload your own image and you can literally edit wherever you want in that image, which is so cool. What I also love most about Mid Journey is how it helps me to think like outside the box because it's so original and it's so unique. Like you can't really find that image on like Pinterest. It generates ideas that I might have not like initially thought about or like it really pushes the creative boundaries of my design. And this is especially useful in a commercial interior design like the industry I work in because you always don't have time to spend hours looking for the right images or the concepts. So when you're limited time, it's great to just have Mid Journey as your backup plan. I really think that Mid Journey has completely changed how I approach the creative process. And I definitely think that AI is only going to be better every day. So you might as well as want to start learning today. If you want to dive in deeper into how you can use Mid Journey for interior design, I do have a video that goes through step by step. So definitely check them out. So I use Notion in every aspect of my life, from my yearly goal setting to managing my to-do list. But one thing that really helped me specifically for interior design is to keep all my library in here. Before I used to save all my favorite website, like furniture brands, materials, lightings, any like inspirational website that I wanted to save in the bookmarking on the Google. But the problem was that I was saving all in my like company's computer and basically I couldn't access from my own laptop but also when I changed jobs like I basically lost all this like website that I saved. It has seriously saved me so much time and instead of searching all over on the internet or like you know like when you remember oh I've seen this chair somewhere but like, you can't literally remember where you've saved them or like how it looked like it's so great that you have saved everything on Notion. If you want to know exactly how I created this bookmarking system on Notion, I also do have a video on this, so feel free to go and check them out. Last one, but not the least, I've probably been using Canva for the longest time, and it's definitely one of my go-to tools. I use it all the time for video thumbnails and like quick presentation, but how I use Canva for my interior design work is mostly creating mood boards. One of my absolutely favorite feature on Canva is this magic background remover. Traditionally, I would use Photoshop for this and it would take me like forever to like isolate objects and make a clean background images. But now with Canva, I can do it in like a second Seconds. Honestly, in seconds. This has been a game changer for putting together mood boards quickly and effectively. You can create something like this in seconds and now I can download it as like PDF or image and then I will bring this directly into my InDesign presentation. It saves so much of my time and it's so easy as well and like it's not sacrificing quality at all. Since Canva also has like many well-designed templates, I've also used in the past to create like my CVs, invoices, fee proposals, any kind of like professional documents, but you want to like jazz things up and have a little bit of like design. Canva is like great tool to do that. And you can basically use Canva as your like starting point or like inspiration because how many times have you actually spent so much time on just putting together a document template on InDesign. So Canva is a great tool to just save time on those things that you don't really need to spend time on and save your time for something that you actually need to spend time on. That was everything for today and a brief walkthrough of different apps that I use to help save me time and manage different aspects of interior design tasks. Obviously what I went through today are like the basics and introduction to all these apps. So if you did like any of these apps, I do have a video that you can continue watching and learn deeper into Mid Journey and Notion. But I do hope this video was helpful and if there's any apps that you guys use that you recommend, feel free to leave that on a comment. I would love to know. Thank you for watching. 
watching. It's always nice to see you guys here and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.